Hey guys, Troy here with Mainstream Linux. Today we're going over Deepin version 20. Also, keep watching the video because I will give you information on how you can get entered into the Xbox Series X giveaway that we're doing on November 30th. Thank you for watching Mainstream Linux. Today we're going over Deepin version 20. And I gotta be honest, I've done some Deepin Ubuntu and, and things like that, but I've never done just the Deepin Distro, so this is gonna be new to me just like it is for y'all. So right off the bat, this is the way you log into the live USB. Let's see what we got. Right click, uh, new folder, documents, wallpaper, and screensaver. Let's look at some wallpapers here. You know what? I'm just going to leave that because I like the wallpaper right out of the box. But you got your trash down here, your power, time and date here. You've got your onboard keyboard here. You got your notifications, uh, battery, internet, volume, and you also got no input window there. But what's really nice about these is you just hit that little arrow, they slide over, you've got more room on the taskbar. Right out of the bat, you've got control center here, you've got your calendar here and what I really like about this calendar is if you look down here it says November 18th this calendar actually shows you the correct date down here on the icon which is nice you got music album the app store Firefox and your file manager now let's open up over here okay it comes out of the box in the small mode now you can click the arrows up here and it goes to big mode just like that you get a full Thing that, now, what I want to do to what I do want to test is that some of these on different distributions, when you click them in this setting, will not open, but on the actual deep in distribution, they do open. That's awesome, and I do love the fact that it comes in a light mode. I do prefer the dark mode, but let's go over some of the apps that are included out of the box. I want to go ahead and go back to small mode. Uh, you got File Manager, Firefox for your internet, App Store. Music, movie, screen capture, image viewer, album, draw, document viewer, text editor, Thunderbird for your email, which is here. But you can go to all categories right down here and it bring it and break it down. There's internet, there's music, there's your video, which is your movie, your screen capture, and cheese. Let's go back. Graphics, image viewer, album, and draw, office. Okay, it comes with LibreOffice out of the box. Let's see which version it comes with. Because a lot of them nowadays come with different versions. I want to see if this is a newer version, if this is an older version. Let's see what we got here. About LibreOffice, let's see. It's got version 6.1.5.2, which is expected. It's expected. Uh, I do distros nowadays. I do reviews on them, and some of them have version 7. Some of them have version 6. If you've got version 6, doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's still quite capable of doing everything that you need it to do. LibreOffice is definitely a, a great office suite. Let's look at the Control Center real quick. Control Center. you got your accounts, deep in ID, display. And like I said, I tried to set it. I'm running it like 1650 by 1680 by 1050. Uh, for some reason, when I go and try to go full 1920 or 19, let me show you. 1920 by 1200 it won't render correctly but right here it seems to render so I got black bars and I do apologize for that default applications Firefox for your web page Thunderbird for mail text text editor and LibreOffice writer music video it comes with movie picture you got image viewer album draw and Firefox and then terminals just your standard terminal personalization now you can go over here let's see can I go to dark mode there's my dark mode and then you've got an auto mode I'm going to go with dark mode and leave it on blue, I guess. Icon themes, you get icon different icon themes out of the box. You can change these to whatever you want, or you can download new ones. Cursor theme, I'll stick with that. Font, we're going to go with size 14. That's fine, because I'm, I'm hard to see in any way. But I want to pause right here for a second, because I told you at the beginning of the video, I was going to show you how you could get signed up to win the Xbox Series X that we're giving away on November 30th. So watch this short video, and when we get done, I'll show you how you can get entered.
That's a great video. I love that video. But anyway, it's real simple. You want to get entered to win that free Xbox Series X? Just subscribe to my channel. That's it. Subscribe to my channel. What we'll do is we'll take all the subscriptions we've earned since this started on November 1st and draw out of them and whoever wins gets the Xbox Series X and it's just people who have subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and get your chance to win that Xbox Series X. All right, let's keep going here. Network. I'm on wired adapter, of course, because I'm inside VirtualBox. Notification settings. You can set up notifications for anything. Do you want to play when you get a calendar notification? You can go down here, show message on lock screen, play sound, show only a notification center, show message preview. You can pretty much do that for all of these apps, which is great. You can really customize this distribution to the way you want it to work. I'm really impressed. Deepin looks really clean, looks really good. Uh, definitely looks better than any Windows 10 I've seen. And uh, yes, looks better than Mac. I promise you that. Sound, your sound system, sound settings right here for speaker, microphone, advanced. You can go in here and set up everything you want for output and input. Sound effects. Do you want sound effects on boot up? Do you want them on shutdown? I mean, everything right here gives you what you need and gives you the ability to customize this the exact way you want it. Date and time, power, mouse, keyboard and language, updates, fail to update, of course, because I'm wearing a virtual box, probably doesn't have enough room, and about system info. We're running deep in 20, 64-bit. It's running on kernel 5.4.50. We're on a 64-bit desktop uh, processor is an i5 intel core i5 i've only assigned it two cores or two cpus to work i want to see how this operates on a, a low spec system so you can kind of look at this video and go okay i got an older laptop wow that'll that 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 operating system right there will work for me memory two gigabytes assigned and then general settings do you want a startup delay what theme do you want user experience Hey, by collecting and analyzing information, I've got this shut off. This is kind of a phone home type scenario right here. So if you like your privacy, I wouldn't even go anywhere near that. It comes out of the box off. Just leave it off. Now, if you want to report different things so you can help deepen in the developers, you just come over here and click that on and you're good to go. And it'll ask you. It'll give you all the breakdown to agree to terms of service. I'm just going to cancel out of that. And let's close. Okay, let's take a look at the Deepin web page. Deepin is a Linux distribution devoted to providing beautiful, easy to use, safe, and reliable operating system for global users. Deepin desktop environment, which we've kind of looked over. Personalized notification management, which we just went over, where you can have every app specifically do what you want it to do. Dual kernel installation. Right now it's running on the long-term support kernel, which is 5.4. You can install kernel 5.7, which is stable, but it isn't the long-term support. It's the rolling release. Intuitive system installer. Convenient app management, which we just looked at a while ago. Optimize fingerprint recognition. If you have a laptop that you want to put this on and you've got fingerprint sensors on the laptop, Deepin is ready for that, and you can optimize it. System updates from version 15.11 to version 20 final release. New and upgraded features. Device manager is added for viewing and managing hardware devices. Font manager is improved to install and manage fonts. Draw offers an easy way to make a drawing of anything you want. Log viewer helps you find system and app logs and locate your issues quickly. Voice notes combine the text note and voice recording features provided, providing two ways to record notes. Screen capture is a combination of deep in screenshot and deep in screen recorder, which mean, makes screen recording more convenient. Cheese is pre-installed so that you can take a photo or record a video on your PC. User feedback is available for you to submit issues and communicate with other deep in users. Document viewer, archive manager, and more apps are newly developed or upgraded to give better user experiences. New icon theme added, offering more display options. App Store, App Update feature added, the display of apps and categories, and the detail pages changed. Okay, that's what we got on Deepin's web page. So that kind of gives you an idea that they're, they're staying on top of it and they want you to be informed. So let's look at their App Store real quick.
Okay. Deep in app stores, loading as we speak. Hot apps right off the bat. It'll give you a list up here. Chrome, Android Studio, Eclipse for Android developers. You get Sublime Text, Etcher. Let's see. Rankings. What happens if we go to the rankings? Okay. Gives you starred results. VLC, WeChat. So it's got a pretty decent looking app store. I'm rather impressed. VLC, Tencent Video, 360 Player, Adobe Flash, Kodi, uh, 4K Video Download, Popcorn Time, OpenShot, OBS out of the box is right there. You can download it. Lightworks. Let's see. I'm going to click on one. Uh, let's do Lightworks and see. Okay, so it doesn't say if it's a snap or if it's a flat pack. I'll have to do some more investigating on that. I should have probably did that before I did the video, but you guys can tell it's got a beautiful, a very beautiful app store. So, I mean, Deepin, like I said, I did different versions of distributions with the Deepin desktop environment. I've got to say, I'm going to play with this one a little bit more. I've been on Manjaro KDE for a little over a year now, but I'm going to look at this one a little bit more. I want to kind of see what kind of let's see if they've got a system monitor okay system monitor it's a good looking system monitor services let's see what we're using right here okay with just system monitor opened in the desktop environment we're running at 950 megs I've got two gigabytes assigned we're running at 950 953 megs uh, Download, upload, doesn't look like our network is doing any phoning home in the background. Uh, and disk read write. Let's see, how many services do I presently have open? It doesn't have an actual count. So, but anyway, okay, so the desktop environment is not heavy. Um, it's actually less than what you'd be looking at with Genome, Gnome, Gnome, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a little bit more than KDE. I, I usually sit at about five or 600 megs at idle on KDE. But with this much beauty and what Deepin is doing right here, I can understand why it's using a little bit more. But this is definitely, um, I would definitely, especially if you've been on Ubuntu for a while, been on Linux Mint, um, or if you're just now coming over from Windows or you're coming over from Mac, Deepin 20 is very impressive. I'm impressed by the look. I'm impressed by uh, the ease of use, um, how you can just get in there and start doing things and changing stuff around and making it look the way you want it to look. Um, it is definitely a beautiful distribution. So that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching today. Remember, subscribe to my channel so you can get entered for that Xbox Series X giveaway that we're doing on November 30th. Um, Deepin 20. Definitely drop that thing down on a USB and load it up and, and, and investigate because it is a very beautiful distro, very ease of use distro. And like I said, it's working very good in a virtual box that is very low spec. So if you got an older laptop, you can throw this on there and, and keep rolling. So thank you guys for watching today. Uh, this has been Mainstream Linux.